Good afternoon, my name is Jacqueline Thompson. I'm a South University student in the Family Nurse Practitioner Track. I'm gonna be doing my head to toe assessment today. Um, for purposes of privacy issues, this is being taped in my home and the patient is my son. So first I would knock before entering. Can I come in? Yes. Good afternoon, my name is Jacqueline. I'm gonna be the student nurse practitioner handling your visit today. Can you tell me what your name and date of birth is? My name is Gerard Thompson. I was born 722 Bernard. Okay, Gerard, I'm just gonna double check against your ID band. And it does say Gerard Thompson, 710 2009. Do you know why you're here today, Gerard? Yes, I'm here for my physical. Do you know where you are? I am at the doctor's office. Okay, and do you know what year it is? Yes, it is 2018. Okay, great. Patient is alert and oriented to person, time, place, and situation. So alert and oriented times four. Um, patient appears to be in no dis acute distress. Breathing is even and unlabored. Uh, the patient is well-groomed, well-nourished, appearing his stated age, no apparent lesions on his skin, masses or scratches or un unhealed wounds. So um, just to let you know, Gerard, your vital signs were normal. Your temperature was 98.6. Your heart rate was 65. Your respiration is 14. Blood pressure 118 over 65. And your oxygen saturation was 100%. So I'm going to start. Um, I have already done the general inspection. I've already inspected the skin visually. So I'm going to palpate now. Your skin is warm and dry. It is consistent with ethnicity. Um, I'm going to check your cap refill, it is less than two seconds, which is normal. I'm inspecting the head, doesn't appear to have any lesions, cuts, um, hair is evenly distrib distributed, um, the texture is even and normal, I'm palpating his head. Are you feeling any pain or tenderness when I'm touching, Gerard? No. Okay, wonderful. I'm going to palpate the temporal arteries and they do appear even bilaterally, two plus. Gerard, can you open and close your mouth for me? Okay, uh, no TMJ noted. I'm going to palpate his frontal sinuses, maxillary sinuses, his nose, no swelling noted. Do you feel any pain when I was just touching? No. Wonderful, okay, now I'm gonna check his lymph nodes, the occipital, Postauricular, preauricular, parotid, tonsillar, submandibular, submental, posterior cervical chain, anterior cervical chain, supraclavicular. Can you lift your arms? Axillary, subscapular and anterior chest. All lymph nodes are non-palpable. Did you feel any pain when I was touching? No. Okay, I'm going to palpate now his shoulders, along the clavicles, which seem to be normal. Shoulders, any pain when I'm touching you? No. Supra and subacromion are both normal. Can you shrug your shoulders for me? Good, great. Okay, so now I've checked TMJ. Um, I'm going to check, uh, can you puff out your cheeks, cranial nerve seven, and then unpuff your cheeks and smile. Great, I'm going to check the sensation you're, that you're feeling dry in your face. So I'm gonna touch you with a cotton ball and you tell me whether or not you feel it and where you feel it, okay? Yeah. Close your eyes. Soft on my right cheek, soft on my chin, soft on my forehead, soft on my cheek. Okay. Yeah. So that's all intact. His facial features are bilaterally symmetrical, as are his extremities and all his body features. His ears, I'm palpating. Do you feel any tenderness or pain? No. I'm gonna check your hearing, Gerard. So I'm gonna stand behind you. I'm gonna say a series of 
numbers or letters and you tell me what you heard, okay? One, two, three. Okay. I'm going to check your other ear. A, B, C. Okay. Now I want you to close your eyes. I'm going to rub my fingers and you're going to tell me which ear you hear a sound in. If it's your right, your left, or if it's both, okay? So close your eyes. My left one. My right one. Both. Okay. I don't have a tuning fork, but if I did, I would strike the tuning fork and put it on the top of his head to see if he can hear the buzzing of the fork equally in both ears. That's to check for lateral, lateralization of hearing or any sensorial neural hearing loss, um, which I don't suspect he has since he heard the whisper and the, the um, friction rub test. Also with the tuning fork, that's the Weber test, the Rene test, you would hit the tuning fork again and place it against the mastoid bone and then out to, to the side of the ear. The mastoid bone is checking the bone conduction, the other is checking air conduction. Air conduction is usually two times that of bone conduction in normal individuals. So now I'm going to check his internal ear structures. So with a child, you want to pull the ear back and down so you can see. And his tympanic membrane is pearly gray, minimal cerumen, light reflexes noted and the middle ear ossicles can be seen as well in the right ear. Now to the left ear, down and back. And the same is noted here, light reflex, the middle ear ossicles, pearly gray tympanic membrane, no erythema, and minimal cerumen. So Gerard, I've already palpated your nose. I'm gonna check your nose now to see if you have any issues in your nose. Can you tilt your head back? Great. Just touching the tip of your nose. Nares appear to be patent. Turbinates are uh, appear moist and without erythema. Put your head back down now. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the eyes. Um, Gerard, can you look over my shoulder straight ahead? And I want, I'm going to check your pupillary response. First for the right eye and then the left. Wonderful, response is normal. I'm gonna turn off the pen light. Now I want you to follow this light with your eyes only, not your head. So, you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've checked all his cardinal gazes. They are all normal and intact. I've checked extraocular motion, and that is all normal as well. No nystagmus noted. His eyes are non-injected, non-icteric. Open your eyes for me, sweetie. Sclera, clear, conjunctiva, pink and moist. No exudate noted. So now I'm going to check for light reflex in the inner eye. So I'm gonna to touch your forehead. You look straight ahead. Red reflex noted, checking for the optic disc and the vessels up here normal in the right eye. And now the left. Red reflex is noted, moving in to see the optic disc and the vessels all noted. Eye exam is normal. Now I'm gonna check his visual acuity with the Rosenbaum. I don't have a Snellen chart. Just hold that in front of you and you tell me what is the lowest line that you can read. This one. Okay, go ahead and read that for me. Four, two, eight, three, six, five. Now cover your left eye and try to read that line or tell me what's the lowest line you can read. Four, Four, two, eight, three, six, five. Okay, now switch eyes. Can you read the same line or lower? 
the four, same line? Yes. Go ahead. Four, two, eight, three, six, five. Wonderful. Okay, so the patient is noted at a 2040, so he will be referred to ophthalmology for testing. So I've checked his head, his ears, his eyes, nose, um, his mouth. Can you open your mouth, Gerard? Stick your tongue out for me. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, uvula is midline. Tonsils are noted. Moist. Mucosa. Pink. No erythema. We're going to check his tongue. Stick your tongue out one more time, sir. Uh -huh. Okay. No erythema. No fissures of the tongue. The tongue is also midline. 